watching MSNBC. Robert Mueller's report lays out in unprecedented detail the scope and scale of Russia's interference in the 2016 election. The Russians hacked our election. They created a tsunami of content in favor of Trump and against Hillary Clinton. President Trump rejected the idea that Russia played any part in his victory. No, Russia did not help me get elected. You know who got me elected? You know who got me elected? I got me elected. Russia didn't help me at all. Again and again, the president had said his campaign had no ties to Russia. I have no dealings with Russia. I have no deals in Russia. But the Mueller report documents meetings and links between Russians and some Trump advisors. One thing that was certainly significant were the number of overtures that Russian officials made to people in the Trump campaign to try to make inroads and establish relationships with people in the Trump campaign. According to Comey, in volume two, page 40 of the report, the president said, I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go, to letting Flynn go. Comey does not commit to ending the investigation, but when he goes home that day, he writes a contemporaneous memo about his meeting with the president. Trump was more direct that spring. The report says the president asked Comey to publicly announce that he was not under investigation by the FBI. Comey didn't oblige, and Trump fired him in May. Firing an FBI director is politically a very difficult thing to do, especially because the FBI director is supposed to be in his post for 10 years and left free of White House influence. So here was Trump in the middle of an investigation into his campaign trying to get rid of the person leading that inquiry. I don't know whether the president was motivated by uh, an entirely legitimate, pure reason, an improper uh, reason, or a mixed motive. All I know is that he has the constitutional right to fire Jim Comey. 